Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK. In this video I'm going to talk to you about hardwood holly cuttings but I'm not going to show you how to take them. That video I did 11 months ago and you can find that video on my channel and I'll put a link to it just up here somewhere. So if you want to know how to do hardwood holly cuttings just watch that video because in this video I'm going to share with you my reflections on the whole experience and what I would do differently if I were to repeat that process again. Gardening to me has always been a learning curve and an experiment and I like to think that whenever you make a mistake you learn from it so um, in a sense in this video I'm going to share with you the mistakes I made when I planted my hardwood holly cuttings in this strip of earth here. Now each one of these canes represents a successful hardwood holly cutting so my experiment has been a success and the process I used for taking and planting these hardwood holly cuttings works and I would use that same process again if I was to repeat this exercise but there are certain things that I would tweak and do slightly differently and I'm going to share those things in this video I've written down on a piece of paper here and I will type them up in the description box below this video. So the process I used works but you could make it even better if you follow these six points in addition to the process outlined in the original video. So let's get on with it and the first thing I think I would say is be patient. This is not a quick process. We're 11 months in and whilst I know how many of the 65 or so I did have succeeded, they're still very small plants and that doesn't work for me because I want to grow a tall hedge very quickly. So I think the first thing I would say to you as a learning point is if you're going to do this you've got to have a long time or be very patient or both but if you want a high hedge very quickly this is potentially not the way to go about it. I've got lots of lovely little holly plants growing here but after 11 months they're still only about this high and as I'm talking I'll show you a few examples of these lovely very healthy very small holly plants. So point number one patience. It's a very slow process. It's taken nearly 12 months for, to, for me to actually see which ones have succeeded and which ones have failed and that's without any real growth. Let's go on to point number two and that is, it's another point of, about patience really, don't give up on the ones that look dead. I made the mistake of about three months ago going along this line and looking at some of the cuttings and thinking well that one's clearly dead it's not taken and pulling it out and I've got a meter there where there's no cuttings and another meter there where there's no cuttings however some of the ones which I left in which did look dead have since sprouted little tiny leaves so don't give up on them they may look dead but something wonderful might be happening just below the surface and in fact one of them, which I did leave in, which looked dead, hasn't grown any new leaves from the stalk of the cutting, but has sprouted a new holly bush from underneath the ground. So point number two is, don't give up on them, be patient. Leave them! You might have to leave them 18 months, but leave them. Don't start pulling them up like I did. So, my next point is on about survival rates. Now I wanted a double hedge here continuous double hedge and I planted 65 in approximately two rows of 32. 50% of them have not succeeded so I'm left with a hedge with lots of gaps in it. Now I've got two options. I can take a load more cuttings or I can go and buy some plants to fill in. Um, either of those options would work. I'll tell you now honestly, in reality, uh, I'm going to give up on this hedge. It's, it's just not going to be quick enough for me. So I'm actually going to take a shortcut 
give up on the holly hedge and I wanted to move the position anyway so I'm going to plant a, a yew hedge about two meters to the right of this um, and I'm going to buy some bare root yew plants in the winter time and that's going to be a winter project for me and by doing that I'll get some instant height so it's been a wonderful experiment I know I can do holly cuttings but I also know that they're painfully slow at growing so survival rates allow for 50% success, 50% failure. If you're determined to do it, do twice as many, and then you've protected yourself and you've got an insurance policy. If you get too many surviving, you can always thin them out. Another point I've learned, I think, and this is possibly responsible for some of the ones that haven't survived actually failing, is uh, there were periods of time in the spring when I didn't water. And I think the thing I would say is, this needed watering all the time uh, throughout the winter throughout the spring throughout the summer and i should have kept watering it and I, I kind of took my eye on the ball on off the ball on that so keep it well watered another point i would make is if you decide to move these and i did dig a few up just to look at them i wanted to see what was actually going on under the ground if you're going to start moving them be very careful because those little filaments of roots that might just be coming out of that stalk under the ground are very, very delicate. So ideally don't move them. But if you do want to move them, be very, very careful about moving them because it will be so easy to damage those roots that you've taken so much care into creating in the first place. So be careful if you decide to move them. And if you want to see what the, the roots look like, uh, that's the second video I did about this, and I'll, I'll put the link to that one up here as well. You can, you can get an idea of what these, the roots look like after 10 or 11 months. Now, if I were to do this again, and don't get me wrong, it's perfectly valid to plant them directly into grass. And they do work, you know, as I've proven. If I was to do this again, I wouldn't plant them into grass. I would plant them into bare soil. The fact that they're surrounded by grass has, has made my life quite a lot more difficult than I wanted it to be really. Sometimes you can't even see the holly bush because the grass is growing up and, and other times you, I had to go at it with my electric hand shears and just carve the grass away so that there was no competition. So next time, if I ever do this again, I'll be planting them into bare soil. Now, what I, I probably would do is I would have a strip of bare soil I would put some um, weed fabric down and then I would create the cuttings, cut a hole and push them through and that would act as a kind of a, it would suppress all the weeds, stop the weeds from coming through and it would mean that there was no competition for the plant and the weed fabric would be permeable so you could water through it and feed through it but it would stop the weeds from, from coming up. It would also stop the weed seeds from landing on the bare earth and uh, germinating. So I think that's probably what I would do if I were to do this again. I wanted to do it direct into the ground. However, there is another technique which you could consider, and that is to uh, plant them into pots. You could get some um, pots that you've got you left over from plants that you've bought, and you could put the soil in them, and you could put a couple in each. And then you've got full control over them, and actually they are portable until you determine where you want to plant them. So there we are, some um, reflections and learning points on what I would do differently next time to make it even better if I were to go down the route of taking hardwood holly cuttings. These are about to disappear. I'm giving up on them simply because they're not fast enough and the hedge is in the wrong place. Hope you found that helpful, useful. Um, it's an aid memoir, I suppose. If you want to do this, go for it. Uh, I've provided you with a successful method and I've given you my reflections after 12 months and I'll see you very soon for some more garden experiments. Bye for now.